of Oklahoma's natural environment might be interested in the Master Naturalist program. Joining us today is Dr. Marley Bean from OSU's Department of Natural Resource Ecology and Management. Well, welcome to Oklahoma Gardening. Thank you. I'm very excited to learn about this program and I'm sure our viewers will be interested as well. Tell us a bit about the Master Naturalist program. Well, in this program we aim to do things that uh, not only educate our volunteers, but put our volunteers to work at educating the public mm -hmm. and raising the awareness and understanding of Oklahoma's natural resources. We have a lot in this state to be proud of. We sure do. We have very diverse habitats as we move across the state, um, something, something that a lot of other states don't have. That's right. Mm -hmm. We have almost everything. We're, I think in terms of uh, diversity per unit area, mm -hmm. we're probably the most diverse state in the Union. We don't have seashores, we don't have high mountains, but, uh, and we don't have deserts, but we've got pretty much everything else. Okay, well and this program um, is, I think, very similar to our Master Gardener program where there's an education component and a volunteer component. Tell us a bit about the, the process. That's right, mm -hmm. we have a three-step process. We put okay. people through five one-day workshops mm -hmm. and then they have their choice of various advanced trainings to get 16 hours total there. And then we ask them to repay their training hours with volunteer service hours. Okay. What types of educational sessions are involved in the training? We try to look at things from the science perspective. We look at the science of ecology. Mm -hmm. We look at some naturalists uh, that are of note, such as that, that wild fellow, John Muir, mm -hmm. the father mm -hmm. of uh, wildlife biology, Aldo Leopold, and of course, Washington Irving for his book, uh, Tour on the Prairies, a, a mm -hmm. good look at Oklahoma our, in 1832. Yeah, our local environments, wonderful. And I'm sure there's many ways for people to give back uh, their time after the training. Um, what are some of the options that people look at? Some of our volunteers mm -hmm. establish and maintain bluebird trail mm -hmm. uh, uh, operations. Mm -hmm. Some go to work for as docents at zoos mm -hmm. and nature centers, some at wildlife rehabilitation centers. And but we also have a special relationship with the Fish and Wildlife Service in which our volunteers have the opportunity to go out across the state and look at wetlands that they have established on private lands around, uh, around various parts of the country. That's a wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Your volunteers are going to be working in so many different regions of Oklahoma. Um, we talked a little bit earlier, some of their education actually covers uh, different habitat types, right? That's right. We have one-day workshops on prairies uh, mm -hmm. and forest ecosystems, aquatic and wetland ecosystems, and also urban ecosystems because that's where most of us live. It sure is, yeah. Uh, we have two pretty active chapters in Oklahoma, one in each of the big cities, right? That's correct. Okay, and they offer some educational workshops that the public can attend. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, if you could go to our website, you could find out about our monthly meetings. We get speakers in to talk about various topics that people usually are interested in, whether it's uh, bird feeding or ethnobotany or something about uh, the weather uh, of Oklahoma and, mm -hmm. and meteorology. Uh, so there's a lot going on. Weather's been a hot topic this year, that's mm. for sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing this program. I think it's a wonderful way for people to connect back to the natural world around us. Well, thank you.